See, there you go, you might have just changed my life. No worries, brother. I'm actually a turkey farmer today. Yeah? Yeah. I'm trying to stop vegans from uh, shutting down uh, the turkey industry. Ain't that the opposite of what you do? Yeah. But I'm trying to do a reverse psychology thing. Because people see this, this is the turkey industry. And I say I'm a turkey farmer. And I'm trying to get people to sign a petition to stop vegans from shutting that down. And then when they look at that, they'll go, wait, wait a second, I don't want to support that. How long have you been here for? Uh, about 45 minutes. Okay. We've got two. We had a bit of support. Yeah, all right. Uh, Where do you think it's going to go? Well, I'm hoping people go, no way I'm supporting that. And I'll go, well, do you eat it? So thanks for supporting us. Yeah, they peck each other in the sheds. Yeah. Do you support the industry? Are, are you a meat eater? Yeah. You watch my videos though. Yeah. You do see my videos. I'm, I'm open to yeah. life. I know, I've got no religion. I've got That's no, good. It is what it is. I'm glad yeah. you're open-minded. That yeah, means yeah. You, you don't shut things out that are true. Yeah. 100% yeah, yeah, yeah. So why aren't you, why, why haven't you made any steps or anything? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, if, um, if someone gave me a meal plan yeah. and went to me, this is a month meal plan, no meat, and it was, Good. Are we, I, I, don't, I don't live on meat. Oh, so you just meat. need to know how and you'll do it? I just need to know. But you agree with the principle like, of um, not harming animals and that? What are you generally against harming animals? Am I against it? Yeah, like mm, mis uh, um, uh, cruelty and things like that. Yes, hundred percent. How do you define cruelty? Yeah, this is I've seen your videos. I don't know. I have no um. Oh, is it cruel for no, me to shoot you in the head? For me. Is it cruel for me to shoot? Would it, would I be acting in a cruel way if I shot you in the head? I've got different views on humanity and, and animals. Oh, I don't really? see them as equals. Okay. You know yeah, I mean? but uh, for what reason? I would ask. Do you know what, to be honest with you, I don't know why there are chickens. Yeah. Apart from if they weren't fed and people want them as pets, what are you going to do with millions and millions of chickens? They yeah. can't be on the planet. Yeah, why are they here? Well, they're here to feed. And obviously well, they're, they're here because they're bred into existence. They're bred into okay. existence. And the, the reason I don't like about the meat industry if I had a choice, I would have got children. Yeah. I would have rather my children not eat meat, dairy, yeah. things like that, especially yeah. milk. Yeah. The drugs that they pump into. The that antibiotics. I'm against. Yeah. And I don't want that shit in me. Yeah. But who am I? Yeah. That's who good for your, your health. You know That's I mean? good. Who am I to say? If your kids are, uh, if you come, so you walked into your, one of your children's room and you've seen them being cruel I, to an animal, yeah. they yeah. what would you say no, to them? No, no, no. You would teach no. them that it was wrong. They'll get a licking yeah. from me, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I, but every day, time you put meat on the table, you're teaching them otherwise. I haven't sat down with my children and yeah. had that conversation of how... Well, you see how people are. can grow up confused? I grew yeah. up confused because yeah. I was fed meat, dairy and eggs, a product of animals being yeah. subjugated and killed, yeah. right? But I was also taught not to be cruel to the cats and the dogs. And if someone see me burning a cow, singeing them in the eye with some hot iron, people would say I was a lunatic. Yeah. But animals are tortured and killed for our dinner plates every single day. And that's why people are confused. Torture, uh, torture is rife through the industry. Yeah. yeah? It's rife through the industry. I mean, I could explain a, a few acts of torture that happen in the industry, um, if you want. Mutilations happen, tails being uh, snipped off, teeth being clipped down, uh, uh, beaks being snipped off of uh, birds and... You know what? 175 years. That yeah. is bullshit. Yeah. It is really yeah. That's, that's bullshit. Like, yeah. If it was done... Um, better? If it was done... Uh, yeah, 100 it has to be done better. And there must be a better way of... Um, there must be a better, there's got to be a better way of, uh, of doing it. But there's also the... the there's also this cruel. There's doing it in a better way. Yeah. Right? And then there's leave them alone. There is that. Yeah, there and I think that. that's, that's the vegan option. That and that exists, course. that option of exists. Right. You, you've got the guys um, over the road, uh, they're here probably every other day. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not from Manchester, I work for them. Are they so, like people with the TV screens and that? That's it, and they're yeah. supporting their religion. Oh, you mean the people that preach uh, Islam and... That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if uh, Christianity, someone Christianity will pass, they're going to go war, war, war. This is my, this I is my religion. Yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah. I don't know about that. Now we have war. Conflict. Like, yeah, yeah. So but veganism has no religion. No veganism is a principle but against. Is it right or wrong? 
Yeah, well, uh, what religion is right? All you have to do is follow your moral compass, how you view animals. Do you believe they can feel pain and suffer? Okay, so do you believe it's wrong to needlessly cause them pain and suffering? Do I think it's, it's sorry? Do you think it's wrong to needlessly cause them pain and suffering? No, no, that's what I'm saying. There's got to be a better way. To so you would prefer they did that? You prefer that people didn't needlessly, like without reason, without justification, harm animals? No, I mean this is the, 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 the whole um, harming animals. Yeah, how they are raised, how they are kept, yeah. food. Should they have? A normal light, not the little school shit. They're culling that's, them. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. Well, up. this happens don't all the time. They do. They, they, they either, they would ha either have to spend thousands on vet care for these animals when they're going to be slaughtered anyway, or they just cull them on the farm. It's way co more cost-effective. Yeah, they would lose. It's all, it's all money. money. It's all but, money. but you give them that money. Yeah. You support them. They also pay my council tax and my taxes to the government. Yeah, but that, you can't, you people. can't, you can't choose where that money goes. But you can choose where you, what you eat. Yeah. I can. I can. I can. I can. I mean, if, like if I started, if I had a turkey here, which I rescued a turkey last year called Tinsel, beautiful animal, really intelligent, like dogs, really smart. It doesn't matter if they're smart. What matters is they can experience and they're aware. All right. If I had that bird here and I started, you know, well, grabbed a knife and started slashing their head off, you, would you cringe? Yeah. Me too. Me too. I'd stop someone. I'd say, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Yeah. It's a bit humane. Yeah. But if you paid me to do it. Yeah, this is what I mean. It's got to be a bit of method. Well, okay. You can't just pay me to do that good method. What's the good method? You've you've got like soldiers in the war, yeah. Yeah. A soldier will come along. He will shoot the bullets that they're using. As soon as it impacts you, you're pretty much dead. Depends where it hits you, yeah. Yeah. You're gonna if you bleed out. Split you through here, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But or someone will come along with a cleaver and saw your head off. Yeah. And now, uh, if it was you and you had to die. I'm, I'm not going to torture you for a long period of time. I, and you, if you ask me, hey bro, can you just, just end it? These are the only two options you had. To torture you, or just end it. Yeah, it would be more it, humane for it, me to just it, end it. But what if there's a third option, right? There's never a third option. There is. There's never a third option. No, no, no. In this hypothetical, yep. there's, a option, this hypothetical yep. there's a third option. And it's, I don't have to kill you at all. It's my choice, right? And imagine if I chose the more humane option when I had of killing you when I had an option not to kill you, what would you say about me? Well, that's just thinking that's a good You say I'm choosing to kill you when yeah, I don't need to. Yeah, but the way the world works... Is that cruel though? Is, is it not... Everything is in a box, yeah? And if you step outside the box, you're going to get prosecuted in one way or another. Yeah. yeah? So... A legal thing. Doing, yeah. Have you never had any problems? Come back with me. For what anything. About, for this, what for asking people not to... Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I get abused yeah. online and things like that, but in person, not often, huh? <laughs> Yeah, like a lot of people silently agree with my, what, what I, people agree that animals shouldn't be caused suffering because most people are against factory farms, right? But if they agree with that principle, they agree that animals uh, value their lives and their experience in their lives. So to murder them is wrong. It has you know to be. What? For me, it's, it's, it's not, I, I see the way they, 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 they're kept, yeah? Mm -hmm. But a million chickens, there's no space to even move their wings. They have yeah? to. They've done that for They birth. have to. They've done it, but that's what I'm saying. They, they have to they, feed from, everyone from chickens. Egg, from the egg, that's mm. all they know. Yeah. yeah. To me, it's some bullshit. But they At have least to. let them fucking run. How are they, they supposed to feed them. seven, eight billion people chickens? You, you, you're full of yeah. No yeah. fish, no eggs, nothing like that. For eight years. So, what do you think of organic? Is that a lot of bollocks? Organic is about the food they're fed. Yeah. And uh, in, in the UK, organic have different standards for how many birds should be kept in a barn and things like this. How um, well is that, is that? Is it working? Is it doing better? Well, it depends on whether or not they get investigated and exposed because this is a... I only, I only eat organic food. So, uh, organic so meats. Free range, yeah. Things well, like free that. range doesn't I, mean organic. No, that doesn't. The, the, um, the milk and the, the, the eggs. You get free range eggs and milk. Okay, Me. free range eggs are disgusting, by the way. Okay, so we could talk about that. That's different, though. Yeah. Free range eggs are about 16,000 in a barn. And what happens is after a while, they produce an egg a day and they suck the nutrients out of their body and they start losing feathers and they die on their faces suffering and then they cull them off. And they always mince the males up alive on their first day of life. So they'll hatch males and females. Okay, the females will go off to be egg layers. Yep. That's where you get your eggs from. The males won't. So they, they cull them straight away. And they got, they got in this conveyor belt and they mince them alive. 
and they go to fertilizer or pet food. See, I'd rather not. I'd rather so not So then you, know. so, I'm rather not like but now you know, research. now you know, yeah. and when you go buy those free range eggs, what are you doing? Where are you putting your money? I know, I what said. I'm all for it. Yeah. I, I, one day I hope that what you're saying does change the world. What you do does. my children would never yeah. know what meat tastes like if I raised them. Before. Same with me. Me, I'm 32, I've always eaten meat. So, so did I, I was 26, went vegan when I was about 27. I was eating steak, probably eat more meat than you, bro. I was big into it. But then I thought, I hate being a hypocrite, man. Hate it. And if I can avoid it, you can never live without causing zero harm. And that's not what I'm asking people to do. There's places where we cause egregious amounts of suffering that we can easily avoid. And being vegan is the best, most practical way for people to do that. There's a guy at work this week. Only one in his family. Yeah. Just one day. I think he's got six years. Yeah. He's a young guy. He's a young guy. Yeah. Um, probably 21, something like that. Yeah. He's, he's in the shape. He's something else. Yeah. And I go to him, how do you feel about it? It's, it's mad. I bumped into you today. I spoke to him last week about it. Yeah. I went, how do you feel about it? And he went, do you know what? I feel, I feel good. He went, I feel better. And he is full on vegan. That's good. And he went, he went, I highly recommend it. He went, I'm never going back to me. He went, it's not a matter of, he went, I love it. I like, I like the taste, but he went, what it does to your body, and then, oh, and then he's got the, he's got the, the pets, and then he's gone more into it on the lines of you for animal. Yeah. And, uh, but he just started off as if he just didn't want to eat meat, and then as he got deeper into it, then he understood this bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, and then you know what? It's a good feeling being consistent, because you say you're against animal cruelty. And it only makes sense that you, you act in a way that's in alignment with that. If I had, if I had, um, uh, if I lived with someone that could teach me how to... Well, can I give you, there's a, if you go to challenge22, so challenge and the letter, uh, the numbers 22.com, I work with this organization and they do a uh, free vegan challenge. You do it on Facebook, it's all free, but you can just go in there and go, okay, so what's my meal plan? What do I have to do today? And they will give you, they've got diet, registered dietitians on there. They've got um, mentors who help you, who guide you. It's challenge22.com. Challenge 22. Yeah. And the reason it's 22 days is because it takes 21 days to rebuild a new habit. So it's all about changing habits and knowing what to eat and that. And if you get that down pat, it sounds like you'd do it pretty easily. But uh, there's also Veganuary. You've got to educate yourself so you know. So then when you... Because when you make decisions, it's smart to be you know, wised up to those decisions. So then you, you can teach your kids, then, then you, you're creating a, a better world for the future because then they can go on and teach their friends and you're actually making a positive impact because we're all gonna die. We are <laughs> we gonna might die, as, but, but the generations that think, come. Do you not, right, let's just step slightly outside the world. So what's okay. your views on, everyone becomes vegan, yeah? Yeah. So that's a lot of meat taken off the table. Yeah. Plus, be replaced with something else. Yeah. How are they going to grow their vegetables without causing planetary problems? Yeah. Yeah. But so, those animals right now are being fed plants. So they have to feed a lot more calories to run it through an animal to create their muscle and to sustain this animal. Okay. And then you take a small piece of their flesh. So the distribution of plants, you know, them converting it into their bodies. It's unsustainable. So right now, um, animal agriculture is using up 83% of the farmland on Earth. And if we all went vegan, there was this big study, right? It, probably not much into science, but at Oxford University, they said uh, if everyone adopted just a vegan diet alone, they could reduce the Earth's farmland by 75%. Cows need hay, land. Chickens are eating soy from the Amazon. You know, they're deforesting, growing all this crop land and feeding it all to these animals so we can eat a little bit of their flesh. It's really unsustainable and crazy. It's crazy. But the world is open. It's not the way we're eating these animals and eat, feeding the animals our food and just to eat the animals. And our water, these animals drink a lot of water, especially a dairy cow. It's like a, it's like a, um, how many, a thousand litres of water for one litre of milk? Yeah. It's crazy, dude. It's like, they need water like to feed their crops that they eat. And they also drink a bunch of water and then they convert that into a little bit of milk. You know, it's just like, it's, it's crazy, dude. We could just have, get some soybeans, blend them up with water and you got soya milk. You know, or you could feed tons of soy to this cow. I, used, I did actually, I went through yeah. the stage of drinking the um, almond. Yeah, almond milk, yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Jeez, changing your taste buds, bro. As I'm getting older, my stomach's starting to get worse. 
Uh, I tend to find I'm cutting down on my meat portion. So I won't eat two pork chops. Yeah. 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 I'll have any rice and veg. Yeah. It's more fibre, it's better for but your stomach. This yeah. is it. So as I'm getting, I'm probably, the way things are going, I'm probably going to start going in vegetarian by 25, a couple more years. I'll probably be on my own, like, force to be it. Or you could make the decision now and it would be a moral decision. Uh, and it's, it feels better to make, because now you're conscious, you're like, you know what, I could make a... I've got to get the dishes. Yeah. I've got to get the dishes. Yeah. You need help. That's all you need. Yeah. Practical I, ideas. Dude, meat to me, I don't live for me. I don't, I don't go, yeah, lunchtime, there's going to be some meat. I don't give a shit. Yeah. To me personally, my favourite dish is rice. Yeah. I love rice and rice. veg. But yeah. I eat rice, chicken and veg. You can get vegan but, chicken easy. Yeah, vegan chicken galore. It's mad, and uh, I feel what's like the- your, What's your, what's your corn? Corn, corn. corn. yeah. What's, the, what's that brand? Uh, it's it's, meat. Not, it's uh, made of uh, mushroom, microprotein. Any good? I like or it, still... it's good, but they do do vegetarian stuff. I, st I don't get eat dairy and eggs, no. but they have a good vegan range. I personally like, uh, there's, this isn't chicken, but the, the supermarkets, right? They've got their own branded um, stuff, and it's really good. So like if you go into Asda, they've got plant-based uh, range. If you go into Tesco, they've got their own uh, plant chef range. If you go into Sainsbury's, they've got their, uh, what's Sainsbury's one called? They've got their own plant-based range as well. They, they're doing cheaper, so they, they're cutting the price down, especially at Tesco, and they're giving, like, like the chickens especially, substitutes, they're amazing. But they take the protein out of the plants and they create like a meaty sort of substance with it. But, you know, soya beans that have been processed, I would still, say uh, you know better for you than slaughtered chicken you know they don't have antibiotics in them you're not going to be risk of contamination in coli or things like this you don't have a bird that had the head cut off you know and uh we are not causing the problems with soy uh the animal agriculture is because we're growing it all to feed the animals it's, it's not human caused problem with soy it's an animal caused animal agriculture caused problem so if you go into iceland they got amazing vegan chicken in the freezer section I love it, Iceland, and they got cheap burgers called No Bull Burgers. They taste, they're really good if you like uh, burger meat. If you go on YouTube, right, this is, a bit, this is how I learn what I eat in a day vegan. It'll come up with a million videos on this. Oh, vegan, what do you eat now? Put it in, vegan chicken and rice, boom. Vegan this and that, vegan ch uh, chicken replacements UK. Just boom, 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 anything you want, just think of it, Google it, you'll find it, bro, because you already, I don't even think you need much of a push, it's just, I'm making no, a decision. I, just, I, just, I don't need a push, I just need a, a board to open or just someone to go, there you go. Oh. That's all you need. I don't need push it into it. I'll, yeah. I'll you you seem like you, all you need to do is type up. in in Google what you need and you could go to the store and start. Fucking, where's the vegan yeah. section there? You know what I mean? Do you know what? I'm off work for two and a half weeks at Christmas. I live in London. Yeah. So I'm only here for work. Yeah. But I am. Do you know any vegan shops? Vegan shops. Vegan food, yeah. Well, Dinner. it depends if you want stuff to, to cook at home. I'm not uh, ready made. Yeah, Re oh, ready made in a little thing that you can yeah, microwave. I don't have a kitchen. I stay in a hotel, so I've got to eat as it is. Ready meals. Uh, if you go into Sainsbury's, they got vegan ready meals. Is there any restaurants? No, I can walk in. Use Happy Cow. Happy Cow. Happy Cow. It's an app. Oh, that's Happy Cow's an app. The areas, yeah? Happy, Happy Cow. Cow. And if you want delivery, just go Uber Eats vegan. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, Happy Cow will show, Happy Cow is the best because it shows you not just vegan places, what places have vegan options. You can go into Costa right now, they've got vegan sh vegan sandwiches. You can go into Starbucks, they've got vegan stuff. Anywhere you go, basically, in England, now you now you open your mind to it, there's vegan stuff everywhere. It's mad here. It's one of the best countries for it. Yeah. See, there you go. You might have just changed my life. No worries, brother. Thank awesome, brother. Much. Good All talking, best, man. man. Take Thank care, you. brother. He said you might have just changed my life. Wow, he was legend. So, he was really interested to learn and he really wanted to, he just needed like, to know how. That's interesting, some people are already there, they just need to know how. Um, that's why showing people how is actually a really important job to do in the movement. The why, I always talk about the why, but once people know the why, they're more open to doing, to, to, to the how, so. But, um, yeah, what a legend.